my name's Rolanda, and today I want to talk to you a little bit about APA Style 7th Edition. There have been some changes that students need to know about, uh, but right now we're going to look at formatting your paper for APA 7th Edition. So the first thing we need to do is set our margins, which are going to be 1 inch margins all the way around. So up at the top on the tabs, we're going to click on Layout. And over here to the left, you can see where it says Margins. I'm going to drop that down. It's probably already defaulted to the normal template, which is 1 inch margins. If not, select that. So you have your margin set. Let's go back to the Home tab and look at the font. So right here where it says Font, there's a little arrow just to the right. I'm going to drop that down and pull up a box that allows you to set up all of your font. There's several different styles that we can use in APA 7th edition. However, most instructors do prefer the Times New Roman 12 point font. Just ask your instructor what they would like to see. Assuming it's going to be Times New Roman, you would select that regular and 12 point. Now the neat thing about this is right here at the bottom of the box you can set as default and it will say do you want to set the default font to Times New Roman 12.4 this document only or all documents. I'm going to select all documents so that I don't have to do this again. And then I'm going to click OK. So you can see up here we have our font set correctly. So let's look at line spacing. In APA style, the formatting is double spaced lines. So right here where it says paragraph, I'm going to click this little arrow and pull up a box where I can set my line spacing. So under spacing, line spacing, you can select. I'm going to pick double and I'm going to make sure that both of these boxes say zero so that I don't have any extra space between my paragraphs. And I'm going to set that as default, all documents, so I don't have to do this again. Okay, so now our line spacing is set. The next thing we need to do is set up our pagination. And pagination in APA is a little bit different than M MLA because in MLA, you would put your last name and the page number, but in APA, we just need to put our page number. In APA 7, students no longer have to use a running head. They only use it in professional papers, but be sure to ask your instructor what they prefer. I'm just going to double click up here, and I'm going to find the Insert tab, and to the right where it says Page Number, I'm going to drop that down, top of page, I'm going to pick the third one down, plane number three, and you can see my pagination is inserted. Now something you need to remember, if you did not set your font to default, then you've gone back to your default font here. So you'll need to highlight that and make sure it's Times New Roman 12 point font because all of the font in a paper needs to be consistent. So I'm just going to double click there. And now we're going to look at setting up our title page. So I'm going to hit the enter button oh, several times till I'm, I'm about midway down. There is no set point at which to start. It's, it's usually about midway, maybe a little bit above. So I'm going to type a title for my paper. I'm just going to say the UA Cossetot Educational Resource Center. And I'm going to put a colon and have a subtitle here. Learning how, I'm going to spell that correctly. Learning how to write and cite in APA style. Okay, so I have my title typed. Now for APA 7th edition, what I'll need to do is 
make this bold face font. So I'm going to select bold and I'm going to go right up here where you have the uh, right align center. I'm, I'm sorry, your left align, your center, and your right align, and justify. So I'm going to select center because everything on the title page should be centered. Now I'm going to hit enter O twice. Uh, again, there's there's no set specific on that. That looks about right. You can just kind of eye it. Now this part does not need to be bold. So right up here where I have bold font selected, I'm going to click on that and go back to regular font. And I'm going to type a name. We're just going to say Jane Doe. Uh, this is for comp, so I'll say Department of English. And then the college name, UA Cossetot. And then the course ID for comp. And I'm going to type Composition 1. Then I need my professor's name. So I'm just going to make up a name here, uh, Dr. Simon. And then I'm going to put a date, actually the due date for the assignment. And we're just going to say January 1st, 2022. And right there you have it. That is your title page in APA. The next thing you'll do is just enter to the next page, which I'll do real quick. And you can see your pagination is already there, so you don't have to do anything. And you can start typing 